All right, how many of you remember being five years old? Okay, and how many of you remember something bad happening when you were five? Okay, well, when I was five, I actually had to walk by every table and touch the corners. And every light switch I turned on, it went on and off 20,000 million times more. And every doorway I walked in, I was compelled to walk back out and walk back in again. And as a child, I felt like an alien. I didn't know there was something wrong. I didn't know what was going on, but I knew I was different. And when I was 12 years old, I found out I have obsessive compulsive disorder, also known as OCD. And for some reason, I was compelled to do these things in even numbers to prevent something bad from happening. And I had no idea why. And when I went to school, people noticed my compulsions, they noticed my behaviors, and they noticed that I was different. And it was hard because when I got called to the counseling center, I was known as crazy and the wacko and the girl who wanted attention. When freshman year came, 9-11 happened. And I blamed it on myself because I wore a white blouse an odd number of times. So because I didn't put on my blouse an even number of times, I killed all those people. And it brought on the onset of depression because I just felt worthless and helpless and like a no one. What did I have to offer to this world if I was killing people because I was losing control? There was a boy at school who always bullied me. And to this day, I feel something might have been bothering him and he was struggling. But for some reason, I was an easy target. I walked outside one time, right to the parking lot. I got a middle finger to my face. For some reason, it triggered these horrible thoughts of suicide and wanting to die and just feeling like nobody cared and that I wasn't worth it. So I went home and I stared out my window. And I just wondered if I jump, people won't care. You know, I'm an embarrassment anyway to my family and friends. And I keep losing friends because they see me do these weird things. But maybe if I jump and people do care, they'll see that I'm in pain. Physical pain, since they don't see my mental pain. I'll break a leg, break an arm, get a concussion, go to the hospital. People will feel bad for me. But I was too weak. I heard a creak up my stairs. And my friend came up and said, you know, it looked like you were in distress today. What's going on? I poured my heart out to her. And the next thing you know, I'm in a psychiatric ward for three days. And honestly, it was a scary time. But the people I met accepted me for who I was. I wasn't a label. I wasn't OCD. I wasn't just a girl who wanted attention. I was artistic. I was pretty. I was cute. I was athletic. And I was smart. And leaving there was a sad day. But knowing that there were people there struggling just like me made me gain this hope that I never had. I found out that one in four Americans struggle with a mental illness. One in four. I look around you and I see, know that there's people hiding, feeling embarrassed that they can't go talk to somebody at the counseling center because it's wrong, because they'll look crazy. But it's okay. If you were walking around with your shoulder out of your socket, would you go play in a basketball game? So why is it okay for you to go and feel these thoughts and feel helpless and feel hopeless and be struggling with something like OCD or anorexia or something? It's okay to talk to somebody. You don't have to be embarrassed. But it's amazing that the negative things and the positive things you do to people can impact them. There was a boy in high school and he was getting made fun of. And I looked at him and I said, why don't you go to the counseling center? And he looked at me and he said, what, and be crazy like you? He did go down to the counseling center that day. Four years later, I got a message on Facebook. Missy, thank you for saving my life. I plan on committing suicide that day, but because you paid attention and showed me you cared, I'm alive today. How can one little thing I did save his life? One little thing and one middle finger that that boy gave me triggered all these suicidal thoughts like I was worthless and a no one and could have pushed me over the edge? How is that possible? If you take one thing from today, please take the fact that the things you do and say can impact people. If you're walking down the street, give a smile to somebody. If you're in the hallway and someone drops something, pick it up. It may make their day because you don't know what they're going through. And keep believing in your better day. If you're struggling, go to the counseling center. Bring a friend, support them if they're going through something. And don't forget to celebrate your uniqueness and be happy with being different because it's gonna get you far in life. Keep believing in your better day.